reading, you know, it's something that is not really taught in our in our culture, in our family, because I understand that from the start we have oral tradition. It's not wrong, but our oral tradition has been changed. We have changed through the years because people have imposed another system of living. But what we do now in our African community is gossiping. That's all we do. We watch TV and we gossip. We watch TV and we gossip. And we gossip about what? Not many much. You will go to Africa in some towns and cities in Africa. People are sitting in bar. They are drinking. They are talking about politics. And that's it. But they don't talk about the thing that can completely change the country. In my country, for instance, they don't privilege books to children. Free access to public libraries. Free access to books everywhere. They don't. Is that done on purpose? Probably. Is that done on purpose? Yes, also, because the more you give access to people's books, the much you are educating and then you are, you make them able to change the country. If you see in the old days, most of the revolution was starting, was starting from students, student university students usually, because they were in contact with the world of knowledge okay black african we don't like to read and that's why when i was young usually my father was really strict on that and when we have friends coming to visit us they will see us sitting in our room and reading they were like oh your father is really strict and so yeah and we believe they were right because most of, of the people of our neighbors they were going out playing some of them, most of them, and some of them were in the home, like my parent, my father was doing, make us wait. In my home, honestly, if I knew the treasure I had at the time, there were so many books I didn't realize that I had treasure in my home. Only later on, when I start a certain level in high school, really, because I was reading, but not really reading much. Only later on, like uh, middle and high school, when I started reading and reading, that's when I realized that the history book didn't tell us a lot about the truth about history sometimes. That was the first time in my life that I realized that in concentration camp, for example, there were black people there. But the history book, they don't talk about They just say there were only Jewish people. No, there were, Af there were black people in concentration camp. And I read it through a book of a lady who was a journalist reporting that. The first time I started reading, you know, many things I was introduced on my own because, yeah, it was at home. This book was about by who? My father, my sister, who was also reading a lot. For us, we were reading, but me, I start to be really focused on reading when my neighbor really introduced me, the lady who introduced me to the reading completely, because I started reading, but it wasn't like the books I didn't read, because it was in our home, in the bedroom. I mean, our bedroom, and there was another home connected to the bedroom where we have a place to study and read, but we didn't read that much. We were just, I was just reading. But later on, you know, and that is very important for us. I understand why my sister always say, you need to show an example to your son in a way that he need to see you reading. And that is true because I used to see my father reading. I, need, I used to see her reading every afternoon. She barely go outside having fun. She was reading a lot. And you will see that people who read has a different, have a different way, way to see life, to view life, because why? Because in books, you have everything. If you don't travel, it's okay, because books can get you travel, okay? Books is a window through your escape. You can go anywhere in the world through books. I remember when I left, in, uh, I left America uh, a few years ago, in 2019, I had so many books I didn't know what to do because I had to give my book because I couldn't take it, take them to the, 
for my luggage and stuff. But I really cherish my book a lot. So what I want to say, really, do our best to read. Because when you talk to some people today, you see some comments, you see people talking. Most, or some, how can I say, I don't know, about some social challenges, social issues. You see how people are more emotional than criti critical thinkers. People do not, I don't say that I know a lot at all, at all. But there is a way when you hear someone who waits, who are educated, and someone who is not. An example, like my previous video, I talk about immigration. You see how some people view immigration and some other people who will view immigration because yeah, immigration is a very important topic, a subject of discussion when you talk about, when you, in politics, it's very important. People talk a lot about that, okay? But usually, someone who is a xenophobic person is someone who is not really educated, usually, most of the time. Because someone who is educated cannot perceive an immigrant in a wrong way. Because you understand that the immigrant brings something more in the country, okay? The immigrant doesn't steal the job of the people of the country. The immigrant is also searching his life. Unless it's illegal, I don't know. But even that, you still understand that some ways, you know, that's what we call, that's what we talk about natural, uh, 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 not human resources. Human are resources. Human are also, is also wealth in a way. That's why People educate understand that the impact, the importance of tourists coming in their country. When you have tourists coming in your country, it's not always negative. It's also positive. You bring, you, you enter currency, you enter a certain activity that make your business in the country, you know, flourish in a way. For example, a country like Spain is a country that really most of the main economical um, entry of Spain is tourism. Tourism is one of the main uh, sectors that make them enter money. Just an example, okay? So people who are not educated cannot see the immigration the same way. Someone who is educated will tackle it in a different way. He will understand it in a different way. He will never say, everybody is like that. He understands that, okay, this is a category of people you have here, and everywhere in the world, every country you have the good and you have the bad. In every country, even in my country, you have people who are criminals and those who are not criminals, okay? You understand that. That's why I say, when people read, when people are educated, they don't think the same way. We Africans, for example, black like African, for example, we spend much our time in TV. And we spend, that's why we spend our money in stuff like that. And things that favor our, like clothing, okay, like clothing. We do that, okay? I, I include myself because I'm African anyway. I'm black African. I include myself. We are very much into stuff like that. But when you see, for example, a white person who is educated, he will not spend money on that. He will spend money on things that will bring more, okay? And that will build his life for the time to come, even to the generation to come. Last time when I was talking with my friend, I said, do we African already know that we can probably save money for even the grandchildren? And she said, it's not something that we know. We know already. And it's true, okay? I remember I had an aunt who we'll started talking about it in the 90s. We were already shocked, but because she was white, she knew that already you invest, you already do stuff for your grandchildren. We do stuff because we want something to eat now. We want the stuff to have the flourishing now, now. Though the other ways, they do for the long time, for the generation to come. For the long time. That's why every system they have implemented in our continent that have forced us to do is still working since 
Berlin Conference in 1887 or 1884, correct me, Berlin Conference when they cut Africa into pieces, you see the result until today. It's shocking. It's shocking. We still not recover from what these white people have done and has decided at Berlin Conference.